and the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! And you know what that means, it's time for all the toy news, action figure news of the week that interested me, and hopefully interest you in a big, big week of toy news this week with, of course, Mattel revealed, the Jazzwares vault being unleashed on us for next week, and a lot of other toy news this week. And in all uh, transparency, I guess, I am filming this on Thursday night because Friday I'm leaving town, I'm taking my daughter her friend, and of course my wife Angie, Emma, staying home with the grandparents. Uh, we are going to Chicago to Minsky, Minsky, uh, Minsky Pizza. I don't know what it is, but we're going to some uh, concert that the kids like and stuff for my daughter Elle's 13th birthday. Hopefully I'm going to get some Peace Pizza. Maybe I'll run to Rick Nielsen of Cheap Trick at his restaurant. Wouldn't that be something? That'd be an all-timer. But I am taking them out to Chicago, so I will be there. So I could not film on Friday because I will be traveling, of course. But there is going to be a Mattel Revealed Wrestling on Friday. So I'll be watching that. Uh, I'll make my wife drive for a little bit. I'll watch that, take some notes. And we'll probably do a cut-in in this very video of me from the road to Chicago. So look forward to that later on in this video is what I will say. But let's dive into a few things. But let's dive into a little bit of housekeeping. A little bit of housekeeping. Of course, Patreon, the month of March, the giveaway is my book. The Complete Guide to the Jazz Classic Superstar Series. We'll be giving this away to one Patreon member. So check this out. Pick up a copy if you have not already. And next week in the channel, next weekend, somewhere during the week, I'll officially announce it. But we're going to do a big giveaway as we are dangerously close to 40,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. We're at the four-year anniversary of the channel next weekend. I was off a week. So next weekend is the four-year anniversary of the channel. Then you got 40,000 subscribers right around there as well. You got a book release. Well, I'm going to do a huge giveaway. The biggest giveaway. I was going to say possibly, but no, it's the biggest giveaway we've ever done here on the channel is I will be giving away a one-of-one -one sample edition of an action figure. It is not released yet. It will be released very soon, and we'll talk about that there, but it is a one-of-one -one sample, so it doesn't get rarer than a one-of-one. -one. So stay tuned to that, and if you want to win, you're going to have to purchase a copy of my book. That's going to be tied into it, and you'll have to post proof that you took a picture or you bought the book and stuff but more on the rules all that kind of fun stuff very very soon but pick up your book if you have not so there you go right there and then speaking of the book some fun interviews this week i was on the fightful youtube channel we all know fightful out there I was in the Fightful Spotlight. Me and good friend of the channel, Jeremy Padauer, we had a joint interview about the book together. A lot of fun for about an hour with Jeremy and I talking all things and everything classic superstars. Great to always partner up with Jeremy on any kind of project. So check out that video. A lot of tidbits in that video as well. A lot of good stuff to check out. I would definitely recommend it. Shout out to the Bleeding Cool as well for doing an uh, interview with me about the book as well. So I will be retweeting that, talking about that. But check out that if you missed either of those. So there's a little housekeeping there. And speaking of Jeremy Padauer, they officially announced the vault. They said it was coming in March. Hey, we're still in March. There you go. It opens up next week. That's the 27th it opens up. So they uh, did true to their promises. So a lot of people give them a hard time or those same people are giving them a hard time saying, well, they did do it in March. So there you go. Here's my apology. Once again, it's easy to uh, clown on somebody, but you got to kind of go the other way too when they actually live up to it. So we'll see what happens though next week with the pre-orders and stuff, but it does look like Claudio, uh, Claudio is going up in the Ring of Honor line, uh, Castagnoli, of course, that we do know. Kenny Omega will be going up from that Ring of Honor line. And then we do got uh, Aleister Black, uh, Malachi Black. Still tough for me all these years later. I still want to use Aleister Black to me, but Malachi Black is going up there as well. So that should be really interesting to see how those go. And I think a lot of people need to remind themselves, the vault isn't just AEW Jazzwares. It's Squishmallow. It's Pokemon. It's Call of Duty. It's Star Wars. All their toy lines are over there under that umbrella. And if you did check out that video of me and Jeremy together, you did see some knowledge from Jeremy in that as there's going to be some big things on the vault in the future. They're going to sell a lot of stuff over there, but that is going to be their version of Mattel Creations. They're going to do crowdfunding items there, so be ready for some very big crowdfunding items. And if you go back to the Jax days, they had some huge play sets, you know, huge, massive play sets. Would expect to see some of that out of the vault as well, so we'll have to stay tuned for that, but it sounds like the vault's going to have a lot of different things over there. Going to be a really cool experience. 
We'll see what happens with those figures, though. Coming, of course, next week to pre-order. It looks like they're probably live to go. So more to come on that, but I think we'll get fairly regular. We already know like Daniel Bryan or Brian Danielson once again is coming. We know the Young Bucks are coming, the Briscoes over there. There's a lot of stuff that's vault related that we've heard and seen. So we'll have to look for those in the future. But next Wednesday, uh, get your wallets ready, mark your calendars, whatever you got to do. The vault officially open for business. How about that? Uh, but we're not done with uh, little uh, AEW figures. We did see the latest in the Collect Forever line. We saw CM Punk. We saw Sting. Now it looks like Kenny Omega is going to be the next one. It looks like we're getting some of the Walmart build-a-figure or the Walmart pieces as they build a figure in these. They're just kind of mishmash figures. Not going to be for everybody, as we've said before. Very interesting take on those, no doubt, though. So if you're looking for a Kenny Omega, that seems to be the next Collect, for collect Forever figure. Easy for me to say. Now, Mattel Creations, we're going to talk about that. We'll probably cut in here with a whoa, 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 stop the clock pretty soon. But Mattel Creations, we knew CM Punk was coming. Monday of this week, they did show CM Punk. At first, we weren't sure. Is it an Ultimate? Is it an Elite? Well, it is an Elite. Looks like it'll have two different shirts. Street Gear CM Punk is what we're going to call this one. Mattel Creations exclusive up there right now through about the beginning of April. So if you want it, now's your time to order it. Uh, speak now or forever hold your peace, as they do say. But CM Punk coming there. The Mattel Creations has all kinds of stuff this week with their revealed going on so a lot of excitement as we know around mattel right now whoa 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 stop the clock kyle breaking in as i told you i was going to do on the road to chicago angie's driving l's in the back seat and our forgotten child izzy is back there too i think she might be sleeping who knows what she's up to uh crossing the mississippi river right now you can't even see it but that's what we're doing but we're breaking in here with some late breaking news on friday as mattel reveal did go down steve uh, osier bill mckenna dropping all the wrestling facts for us here today with some surprising reveals a little bit more than i actually thought was going to be revealed first things first cm punk seemingly delayed till april 7th no big deal it's a timed exclusive so there'll be plenty of time to get that one it is kind of what it is but we did get some interesting stuff noted this week uh as the chapstick is being handed around that's not a good idea not a good idea who knows who knows where that chapstick's been i'll tell you later oh boy uh but we did get the legends of the ring four pack a very interesting elite set here with muhammad ali gorilla monsoon you know they got to get the muhammad ali's out there they got to keep those going they got gorilla monsoon going with him angie's laughing at me <laughs> 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 But you've got uh, Muhammad Ali and Gorilla Monsoon. Amazing. Gorilla Monsoon, uh, it's great. I'm here for a wrestling Gorilla Monsoon. Ali, we could take it or leave it, but, but it does work for me in this pack here. But the flip side of the same packaging there, Harley Grace, uh, Superstar Billy Graham, brand new title belts with this one. Big Superstar fan, big Harley Race fan. I'm here for both of those. going to be very, very exciting. What are we doing here? What is going on? There's quiet on the set, as they say. Quiet on the set, but... Uh, we got those too. So those are coming this spring to pre-order. Gotta imagine we might see more of that at WrestleMania, I would imagine. They showed them there. They'll show them there as well. But very excited for both of those. Really good set. A must-have in my collection. Then the next Coliseum collection was finally announced with Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man, and Ricky the Dragon, the Steamboat, Angie. Yes, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. I know you hold your excitement back. Uh, but Ricky Steamboat, Million Dollar Man, an interesting two-pack, two that fit in the LJN collection. I don't know if I would have paired those up necessarily, but it is what it is. Black tights on Ricky, Million Dollar Man, of course, the removable suit, which I just talked about that recently. Shocked we hadn't got one of those. Here we are just a couple of weeks later after I talked about that. We're getting one, so it makes a lot of sense. Sure, why not? Uh, but the Million Dollar Man looking very good. We're just a step away from Million Dollar Man in cape season. I'm ready for that Million Dollar Man with cape. Hopefully that's on the horizon as well. And then we did see an Imperium 2-pack. I thought that was interesting as well. It is going to be a Mattel Creations exclusive. They did uh, give a little Easter egg out there at Mania. We're going to find out the next 2-pack. Should be interesting to see what that is. I say it all the time on the channel. Mattel, all these companies, they're looking for ways to cut out the Walmarts and the Targets of the world. Cut out the middleman, get more of the profits. And we're seeing Mattel Creations doing more and more of that. So that's something to watch in 2024. But we got Imperium coming. And then finally, the latest retro pack is coming in hot. Shawn Michaels, Isaac Yankum, Alundra Blaze, and the British Bulldog. So a mixed bag, I guess. And I got to marinate on that one, sleep on that one a little bit. We'll see how good that one is uh, when it is released. And we do film it at the table. Angie will be there for that. 4A, 4B. 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 <laughs> Angie's driving. Panicking. I was like, you've got to do this long -winded. I'm long-winded, but she's doing the driving as I'm editing videos as we drive here. That's that's a dedicated wife right there. Dedicated. And Elle, say hi for everybody. 
Hi, she says. Okay. <laughs> well, that's it. That's uh, the whoa, whoa, stop the clock moment of today. Speaking of Mattel, going to drop a little news this week here. As I did get this sent to me, I'm not sure what this is for, uh, but I think it could be the future of the Elite line or possibly the Ultimate line. Could it have anything to do with San Diego Comic-Con? I am not exactly sure, but we did see the UWF belt. It looks like the UWF belt is coming. It's for sale in the black market. you got to watch out for that figure black market. But they've apparently made this for Mattel. Now, we did see Terry Gordy, Bam Bam Gordy, of course, Dark Side of the Ring this week, but also the Executioner. We know that's coming to the line soon. On the side of the package, he is shown with that UWF belt. So are we going to get another Terry Gordy in the future? Are we going to get a Generations pack of the Freebirds, possibly, with that belt, maybe? Who knows where that could end up going? Could we be getting a big Bubba Rogers with the UWF belt? Maybe that's something we could get. I don't know. We know they got the boss man under contract. Very interesting to see this. What it could be for, I guess we'll just have to stay tuned. But the UWF belt for you belt collectors coming to the Mattel line, it seems, sooner rather than later. So I thought that was pretty cool. But we're not done with Mattel either. We did hear this week or did see pictures this week. Monday Night Wars Series 3, of course, that's the Disciple Build-A-Figure set. We saw Harlem Heat. Now, Harlem Heat's going to be a little extra frustrating as we do get the black edition and the blue edition. One is the regular, one is the chase. We're used to that kind of. But we're going to have a little chase edition of the Harlem Heat. Very cool. Good way to get that Harlem Heat out twice, I guess, for people. Uh, we did see also RVD is going to be in there. We talked about these last week. Uh, we did see um, The Rock in his nation gear as well with that crazy head sculpt. So we already kind of talked about that, but we saw carded images this week. Very, very cool to see those on card. So we do know that is coming. And speaking of carding images, that means these are right around the corner, I would say. We did see the brand new SummerSlam Elite set. That is the John Cone Build-A-Figure Wave. It looks like we do have uh, Lex Luger, of course. A lot of people saying they don't like the Lex. I'm going to wait till I get it here at this very table. Uh, we, did, we did see The Undertaker as part of this set. And we did see Kane as part of this set. And then X-Pac is the final member. We didn't see images of him at this time. But that is going to be the SummerSlam Build-A-Figure Wave. So be on the lookout for that, guys. I imagine ringside collectibles discount code Kyle save 10% right around the corner, I'd have to imagine, for that one there. We also did see Power Town this week. I guess that's the end of the Mattel news, but Power Town, their Remco toy line, looks like April 8th is your last day to pre-order that one. So pre-order's coming up fairly quick. Uh, speak now or forever hold your peace once again. A very good-looking set. Can't wait to get these in hand. Once again, we'll see what they look like when we do get them. And a little bit of retro news. Probably the slowest retro week in a long time. We did see the back of the British Bulldog from Glapper, Grapplers and Gimmicks. Hastel Toys, of course. So we know another Bulldog figure is on the horizon. We did see the back of that one. We also saw Zombie Sailor Toys show Series 3. It sounds like they could be shipping any day now. Got to be ready for those. And we did see, or we did hear, Todd Pentengill and Smart Mark Sterling shipping out next week. So we'll be looking forward to unboxing those on the channel very, very soon. Two suited characters there, setting the kids crazy, setting the kids crazy. But that's the wrestling news this week, at least as of filming right now. But we got some more news this week. Yes, more news outside of it. How about a little music figure news? You know me, I love my heavy metal, I love my ELO. They just announced a big tour this week. The farewell tour, Jeff Lynn. We're going to miss you. We're going to miss you. Uh, I need to go. I need to go. Maybe. We'll see. But we did see Todd McFarlane from the couch coming in hot once again. He's getting back. He's going some music maniacs. And we did see Alice Cooper revealed this week. A lot of Coop fans out there. I've seen Alice Cooper many times over the years. An ageless wonder really is Alice Cooper. And now we get another action figure of him, if that is your thing. Can't wait to see what else could possibly be in this lineup. Hopefully some really good figures. These price points are a lot cheaper than Super 7. So it'll be interesting to see who they do and don't make, I guess. So stay tuned to that. But Alice Cooper on deck first off. Whoa, 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 stop the clock once again. Uh, yeah, we're stopping the clock once again here because Todd McFarlane, who is not in the car with us currently, he's wiggling his toes back at my house as somebody's got to watch the dogs. And Todd, thank you for staying back. Thank you for taking care of Ace, Domino, and Lemmy. They need all the help they can get at this point. But Todd McFarlane, once again, Todd doesn't listen to me. He just tunes me out. I said, no more of this Friday release stuff, but here we are, Friday afternoon. He says, you know what? We've got an Ozzy Osbourne music maniacs figure to go with the Alice Cooper. Okay, that's fine. Whatever, Todd. Late Friday edition here. Not a fan of it, though, Todd. I'm lucky. You're lucky you're not here and I can talk to you, but I'm talking to you through the phone. Todd, not a big fan of this Ozzy Osbourne. There's about a thousand better looks of Ozzy Osbourne. This is more of a modern release of the last five years. It's got these bat wings. Absolutely ridiculous. Give me Bark of the Moon. Give me Diary of a Madman. 
give me Sin After Sin. Give me Makeup Ozzy. I'll take that one. I'll take uh, Black Sabbath Ozzy. Any Ozzy but that one. It is what it is. I'm still buying it. Still buying it. That's true. Yes, we will. And Angie's going to get one too. So there you go. A little Music Maniac update from Todd. Back home on the couch. The Super 7, they came in extra hot this week with the Slayer Minotaur. And as I always say, you never fight a Minotaur and you definitely don't ride a Centaur. Uh, but we did see the Slayer Minotaur, which we just recently unboxed on the channel, the brown version. Well, now we got a black version. So for you Minotaur collectors, uh, for you Slayer fans, you got another Slayer figure coming. And it looks like August 2024 on this one. So coming fairly soon on that. So I think this was in production uh, before the last one got released as that last one was delayed multiple times. And I think it kind of almost caught up to this one being August 2024. So if you're looking for the Minotaur in black... Stay tuned. Head up over to Super 7. Use code Kyle P at checkout. Support the channel, as I always do say. But then Super 7 came out. We knew we had reaction figures, but it's going to be Beastie Boy Ultimate Edition from the Sabotage time frame. Now, I am not a Beastie Boy fan. Whatever. I'm just not a rap guy. I respect the Beastie Boys. I know they're big, influential, all that kind of stuff. I used to have to play them on the radio back in the day in my high school radio days. Uh, but just never really connected to me, whatever, for whatever reason. I'm a heavy metal guy. You know me. Uh, but a lot of people love the Beastie Boys. A lot of people are going to want to get in on these Ultimates. These Ultimates are really fun because it's based on the costume from the video that used to get played all the time on MTV. Uh, but if you want these, you can just blend them in with other characters as well. They kind of look like stereotypical police officers. So kind of cool addition right here. If that is your thing, if you're into Beastie Boys Super 7 Ultimates, head over to Super 7 once again. Get the bonus pack. Oh, we all love the bonus pack over there. But then the bigger news this week, of course, Mattel revealed we had wrestling. We got Masters of the Universe, a lot of different Masters of the Universe stuff this week. We did see the Turtles of Grey Skull. Uh, they did show the too bad version of Bebop Rocksteady, a pretty easy layup, if you ask me. Casey Jones coming to the line. We got Leatherhead. I guess he's part reptile. He looks like a snake man. Uh, but we got Leatherhead coming. April as the Sorceress. We got Splinter. We got uh, He Man. Uh, we got He Man and Leonardo in their stealth gear. So they're going to be a stealthy team right there. Uh, we did see a Skeletor. We did see Merman, which is a very interesting, different take on Merman for sure. And then another Tila joins into the conversation. So we did see that. And then we did see some leaks this week too. We saw Cringer is coming, of course, to the cartoon collection. Uh, we saw some of the other characters there. Uh, Evil Lynn, an all time favorite. So we did see some of that stuff. Some of the peaks under the tent. Have to imagine San Diego Comic Con will see a lot more of all this stuff. There's no doubt about it. We also saw Masterverse. They're coming out with the Horde Trooper. So if you're into the Horde Trooper, he is coming to the Masterverse line. A little Easter egg with a different head underneath. Uh, and it is an army builder, as we do know. But it sounds like that'll be a, or a Mattel Creations exclusive in the fall time frame. So we'll stay tuned to that. And then, of course, Thursday, Cyclone Origins did go up for pre-order. A lot of people jumping in on that one, myself included. Had to get one for my Min on Card collection, one for my Loose collection, an all-timer there. And they did show off some new figures there. Uh, they showed off Geldor, Extendor, Demo Man, a very interesting one with three heads. And then we did see uh, Snake Lair coming soon. They didn't show it, but they said, hey, it's coming very, very soon. Have to imagine we'll see that at San Diego Comic-Con for sure. But a lot of Masters universe stuff going on they did say hey we're going to complete the rest of the uh, old school he-man set from the 80s in the origins line that is going to be a done deal i think they've said that before but they reiterated that here today and like i said snake layer should be going up fairly soon as well so a lot of stuff going on in the masters of the universe world right there but that is it that is the toy news this week a little bit of a varied week of toy news but a lot of fun in the toy news department this week no doubt about it but now we got to turn our attention to the Album of the Week. All right, time for the Album of the Week. And this band here has kind of flown under the radar until fairly recently. Seen them a few times over the years, uh, usually on uh, kind of smaller stages. They're starting to grow in popularity, and this album is kind of uh, their height of their popularity, at least as of right now. Maybe they'll keep on going. The band, it is called Midnight. The album, Nuclear Savior, Masked Men from Cleveland. What could go wrong there? Nothing. Uh, but uh, they do coming out of Cleveland with some kind of black metal, a little bit Motorhead inspired, maybe a little bit of Venom to them as well. If you guys know Venom and you all know Motorhead, I'm sure. But they've had a lot of good albums over the years and now this is their latest and dare I say greatest. It's the greatest, but it's good. It's worth a check out. If you're into kind of speed metal, black metal, death metal, uh, kind of all combined together. Like I said, Motorhead, Venom, I think it might be worth 
worth a check out for you. Not going to be for everybody, let me tell you that right off the bat, but pretty good if you're looking for something a little extra heavy. Check out Midnight. That is the album of the week, and that is the toy news of the week. Anything you're interested in, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day, and then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon. Both YouTube channels, you get early access to all the videos over there. You can be part of giveaways, of course. We know about that. Dog stuff, pizza reviews, you name it. Patreon, the place to be. Thank you, guys and gals. For your support, you can also support channelpressandtees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And like I said, the giveaway for the month. And of course, available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. Soft cover at Amazon and Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble, only place to get the hardcover edition. Check it out. Support the channel. Support uh, the book. Whatever you want to call it. The Complete Guide to the Jax Class Superstars book. By yours truly. A lot of fun. A labor of love. 700 pages. Almost. Just shy of 700. Quite the book, if I do say so myself. You can't pick it up right now. And if you want an autographed copy, reach out to me. I'm happy to sign one. I'll send it off your way. It will come with a special bookmark as well. So check that out. And then, of course, if you're looking for that, hit me up on social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads. And on Instagram. So for the toy news of the week, you know what I'm doing. I'm rocking and rolling. Strutting and strolling my way into another weekend.